Hello there. Before we start this video, I just want to point out a disclaimer. This is not meant to hate on anybody or anyone who ships the ships included in the video. It's all right to disagree with me, but if you're gonna show it in a rude way, I don't want to hear it. This is just my personal opinion. Anyways, today we're gonna point out things I hate in overrated gotcha FNAF ships, or FNAF ships in general. Seriously, nothing wrong with the ship itself, but the way the creators do it. If you're unfamiliar with it, gotcha tubers tend to over-sexualize these two. This is not cute, it's gross, mainly because they are kids of around 6 to 8 and shouldn't be fetishized. I advise you to make the ship clean and free of sexual act, cause these are kids they shouldn't know about these stuff. William Afton is the same as Glitchap in the real lore. It's fine if you don't believe in the theory since it wasn't fully confirmed. I just find it weird since it looks like self love to me. But for the love of god don't sexualize this ship too. Make it sweet or cute or wholesome or whatever, just don't do the same that gacha tubers do. I have a problem with both the ship and the people who do it. Let's start with the people. There are two types of Minot shippers, the nice ones and the mean ones. The nice ones tend to keep ship cute and actually respect other ships, but on the other hand, the mean ones, they think that Minard is canon and should be shipped by everyone. They act as if Minard was the only ship in the FNAF community. This is kind of behavior that we do not accept in the FNAF community. Now let's move on to the ship. The ship may consist of several illegal things, such as incest, pedophilia, Chagasta complex, necrophilia, and it's that toxic ship. If you believe in just because someone has some parts of the other that doesn't mean in the same person statement, then the ship will be free from Jocasta complex and incident and pedophilia, but that doesn't change the fact that it's toxic and consists of necrophilia. This ship seems to be over-sexualized a lot. It would be a bit better if you don't do that, especially since you're sexualizing a kid's game and a horror game. I'm a shipper of this. Sort of. The, prob the problem is the way they ship it. They make Ballora forgive Williams that easily. There are four options to the death of Mrs. Nafton and the relationship. Divorced, divorced, car crash, married, car crash, divorced, murdered, married, murdered. The divorced, murdered, and the divorced car crash seems to have a lot of sense. If you believe in the divorced car crash, then you should have to make Ballora love William again, since like they're divorced. If you believe in divorced murder, then you shouldn't even let the ship it happen in the first place. You can try to make Ballora act as if she is hard to get, cause the main reason William killed her is because they got divorced. Anyways, don't over sexualize it please too. Make it very challenging experience for both of them. William begging for forgiveness and Mrs. Afton refusing. By time you can make them forgive each other, but that's up to you. Same as Ballora and Springtrap. Shadow Freddy is seen as the bad guy in the game. He even let the FNAF 1 crew follow him so William kills them. RWQ on the other hand is a good guy. This can be easily cleared by the sentence, save them. Now to ship these two is like shipping Nagito with Junko. They don't really go together. It's okay to ship this and have a different story but that's just from the game's point of view. This ship just shouldn't exist. In the Mike Bob 3, which I believe in, you're basically shipping a kid with a machine that was made to torment him. If you believe in the Mike Bro, when you're basically shipping a kid with his nightmares dream that tries to kill him. CC and Nightmare would never, and when I say never, I say never, will be friends. It says right in the game that Nightmare is tormenting him. If you think this is cute, then you have some serious problem. Worst of all, they sexualize it and it's really gross and not cute. I really just advise not to ship it for the best, I promise. I wasn't really big a fan of crossover ships. I just don't understand where this came from, maybe from the Tattletale and FNAF 4 singing battle. I usually see them as a bro OTP, but if you want to ship it, go on, just please don't over sexualize it because they're kids. I always thought Plum Fawn was a bit strange, shipping a psychopathic murderous bear with his hand puppet. It's just weird. I guess, not much a fan, but I don't hate it, I actually thought of shipping it back, shipping it, not much of a fan, but I don't hate it, I actually thought of shipping it back then, but immediately took it back for some reason. Good thing this ship is intended to be over six, oh my god. 
We're going to take out Mrs. Sefton from this. Examples are William X. Henry, William X. Foxy, William X. Freddy, and William X. Goldy. Notice how most of these are gay. Wow. Anyways, we're going to start with William and Henry. Why? Like, why would Henry date the person who killed their kid and ruined their business? Why would William date the person who burned him and set him in hell? Heck, he even screams his name in agony in hell. This ship is... Okay, I guess, just not tended to be the best. But hey, if you want to ship it, go on. I swear to God, if I see another 18 plus William X. Henry video, I will scream. Now let's go to William X. Foxy X. Freddy X. Goldie. Literally the worst ship ever. William killed Foxy and Freddy and Goldie. Goldie, Foxy, Freddy are kids and William is a middle-aged man. It is not cute, it is extremely gross and disgusting and should be stopped. The fact that people make Foxy, Goldie, and Freddy stop just disgusts me. They are kids. They can't, you can't change the fact that they're kids whatsoever. Well, this is an editor note or edit or whatever. I don't know what YouTubers call it. First off, I want to apologize if you hear some voices in the background. My parents are fighting. Second off... I uh, apologize if my voice sounded low because when I recorded this, I it was like 4 a.m. or 5 a.m. in the morning, and I wanted to record this because that's the only time I can talk. And anyways, just to make it clear, I don't ship FNAF ships. Yes, me, Addison McNuggets, the one that made multiple FNAF ship videos, doesn't ship FNAF ships. I always thought it was weird or strange of the idea of shipping dead kids or dead corpse or a game that is supposed to be scary. I always thought it was weird. I've got an attachment to some ships I've gone through throughout the, my channel, but that doesn't mean that I'm gonna stay with them. I might just end up leaving the ship community and start doing whatever the theories or the story just focus on the story not the ships that's all i want to do i don't want to make some cringy videos but just because i said that that doesn't mean i hate the ship community sure there's some cringy ships bad ships illegal ships but that doesn't mean that i hate the ship community and that also doesn't mean that you should stop shipping if shipping is comfort to you if you like shipping if you want to stay in the shipping community do it i'm not stopping you i'm just saying my opinion that i don't like the ship community because i just don't want to ship horror game but that doesn't mean i hate it i just don't like it because it's my opinion but that also doesn't mean that you should also stop shipping because that's what makes you happy then do it again i might just quit with the shipping thing or maybe i won't quit i don't remember i don't know i just I have a lot on my mind right now. I don't know if I should quit the shipping community because there are some theories and facts that I should be focused on than shipping dead characters or sh shipping robots. Okay, we came to the end of the video. If you have any suggestions, please tell me in the comments. If you disagree with me, what I said, please state why. I would like to hear your opinion too. Bye.